everybody, this is Sean Flack 2.0. Welcome to this week's video. Today's date's 10 11 2015. Um, this week it was a little weird for me, and I'll go into some well, the major thing that happened to me this week that kind of bummed me out. Um, but it did tr turn out to eventually be a good week, so yeah. Anyway, hopefully, you watched last week's video, um, and hopefully, you've had a good week between then and now. And let's just get started. Uh, so the, always the first topic on hand is Batman Fitness. Do the hashtag. Um, Batman Fitness, like I said in last week's video, martial arts training was going to get commenced. Um, it's something that I love. It's something that um, I feel has made me a better person. I'm not saying that I'm perfect or anything like that, but through the hard work and discipline required to be a martial artist, um, you know, it's helped me through a lot of things that I've dealt with in life. So, yay to that. Uh, me and Big Brother did a nice workout yesterday, got a good sweat on, got a, you know, kind of got back in the groove because he did martial arts as well. Um, when he was smaller, I mean, he's not that big now, but I mean, uh, so we kind of got back into the groove, dusted off some of the old gear. I have a little video put together for that, um, so I look forward to that. Um, so that was good. Um, last week also, I talked about pictures of food that I've been, ta been taking. So I got a gang of those I'll be putting together in a slideshow at the end of the video um, just to kind of see like what different types of foods that I'm eating. And then of course, you know, leave a comment, you know, what are your thoughts on um, the way I've been, you know, eating. And, and a lot of the food is good. It's all homemade by the Wicked Wahine. Um, a lot of it is um, healthier versions of what the original version would be. So I still don't get that feeling of, oh, I'm not getting what I want. Uh, but at the same time, it being a little bit more healthier um, than if we went out and bought it from, like, a restaurant or something like that. So that's always a cool thing. Uh, moving on. Uh, man, so I'm a big comic book fan. So um, obviously, big DC fan. So Flash and Arrow came out this past week. Um, so just a real quick thing about them. I loved uh, the first season of The Flash, and The Arrow is now in its fourth season. Um, I think my impressions with the, the Flash is, like I said, I think it's the best production you could make for Flash and um, for TV. We're not having like a super duper big budget. I did like season one. Um, with the season premiere of uh, season two, I'm not really too impressed. And I think the reason why is because during the, they gave away, dur during the, the buildup of the series premiere, uh, for this season, they kind of gave away the whole story. Like, there wasn't anything that kind of shocked or surprised you. Um, and then the one thing that did, it still didn't do anything for me. So, check it out. If you can watch it on demand, you know, go ahead and check it out. But it's definitely one of my shows um, this this season. I also watched the I Zombie, which I have not watched the series premiere yet. I will on the way in that. And kind of give me my first impressions of what I thought about that episode. Um, and then the Arrow. Um, the Arrow. I loved all first three seasons. Um, I love the crossovers that they did. I love the fact that they did crossover Flash. They introduced Flash in season, I want to say season three or season two. Um, Barry Allen as somebody visiting and then throughout the season they were able to cross-reference each character. So that, that was always fun to see. Um, but this series premiere, or so last season, season three of The Arrow, super impressed. Uh, and then, of course, with the series premiere of season four of Arrow, um, I really liked. Like, uh, especially, you know, like I said, I, Flash being, you know, the, the rookie of both and The Arrow being a little bit more serious or a little bit more dark. It definitely gave it a good contrast, but I felt with this um, season premiere of The Arrow, not that much was given away in the previews. So when I watched it, you know, how Diggle has this new, like, mask thing kind of going on. Supposedly he's going to be the Guardian, per se. Like, that's what the rumor is. Um, uh, like I said, I was really impressed with it. So I'm excited to actually continue watching. I know there's a lot going on with Flash Season 2 um, that I'm excited about. I'm wondering how they're going to do those things. And um, then, of course, Arrow. I've been watching them forever. Um, let's see. Haven't watched Gotham yet. 
because I'm again big fan, and then I'm still catching up on my Marvel Agent of Shield. So yeah, big comic book nerd here, and maybe I should put a hashtag for that, but maybe not. Anyway, um, so that's what I've been kind of watching. So we went over the Fat Man Fitness, my impressions of my shows for this season. The next thing I got on topic is oh, the weird thing that happened to me. So this past Thursday, I blew a tire on my way to work, and it pretty much sucked. And I'll have a picture of the blown tire. Anyway, again, I am very grateful. I feel very blessed by the people that I'm surrounded by. Um, a lot of people reached out to me and saw if I needed help. Um, so that was always comforting to know that at least I'm in somebody's mind. Again, you know, uh, a lot of people came through um, as far as, you know, helping me get a new tire and, you know, kind of getting everything moving so I wasn't riding on a donut for a week or two or whatever. So that was great. Um, again, something weird, but again, you know, generally when you're down and out and things like that, you kind of find out who your real friends are or who your real you know, go-to people are, and not saying that anybody's fake, but it's just always good to have that feeling like, oh, okay, somebody's like there for me. Um, so yeah, that actually turned out into an okay experience. Turns out that like my tires were overinflated and they're getting a little old. So when I hit this pothole, it like blew out and it was just bound to happen. And it just sucks that it happened when it did happen. Anyway, um, so that was a weird thing, but again, it did turn out pretty okay so you know gauging this past week the week actually turned out pretty good so uh, I'm actually happy about that uh, last but not least gaming gaming battlefront came out battlefront beta is live on PlayStation Network until the 12th I believe or the 13th of this week so a couple more days check it out uh, my impressions on it the game looks cool uh, the game is so crispy like my eyes are having a problem keep up keeping up with all the action, um, so it actually kind of made me a little motion sick. But the gameplay I'm not too impressed with, and I know it's the beta, so you know you can't kind of judge the um, you know the whole game through the beta. But it kind of gives you a idea of gameplay, and I did pre-order it on at GameStop. I might roll that pre-order to something else just because I was not too impressed with that. Um, so we'll see. Uh, a bunch of my friends are playing it. They're saying it's awesome. Um, I just like playing video games for their story for the most part. Or, you know, I like playing games with friends. And it didn't seem there was too much story going on. There isn't a single player campaign from what I understand. Again, this may change between the beta to something else. Who knows? Um, but we'll see. Like I said, wasn't too impressed with the beta, but it is what it is. Um, on other news in gaming, I am still playing Destiny, so Destiny is still the game of choice for me. Um, still grinding. I mean, yes, I did say, like, you know, the thing with the story, but they did a whole lot with the story for Destiny Taken King, and um, it still has me playing. And yes, you're still grinding, and that is, that is my biggest gripe, but um, it's still fun. It's still a fun with, the, you know, a blast with the guys. Um, so, so, yeah. Let's see. Last but not least. Um, quote of the week. You know what? I didn't even think about the quote of the week until right now. Normally I have something written down. So uh, last week it was do what you love, I believe. Let me check my book of ideas. Um, yeah, this was do what you love. So hopefully last week when you watched the video and that was the quote of the week, you actually went out and did what you love. Um, so this week, I'm just going to come off the top of my head with it. Um, the quote of the week will be... Drum roll, please. Come on. Think a little harder. So if we did do what you love last week... Okay, well, I guess it wouldn't be a quote. Let's call it a challenge of the week. Um, do what you love was last week. And I'm going to change it because it's my channel and I can do what I want. <laughs> but a challenge for this week is do something to make somebody smile. Um, and the thought process behind that, um, me and the family were talking about karma uh, this past weekend. And uh, we were at the grocery store. And 
had some, oh, give me one second. Big brother is calling. Did you say something, boy? You know you got me like in the middle of a video, right? Sorry. It's alright, as long as you're okay, then we're good. <laughs> anyway, um, we were talking about, um, we're talking about karma. Yeah, back, back to karma. And um, we're in a grocery store and two people were in line. And it was super busy, super busy. Lines were all over the place. And there was a couple that was in line. They had two items. And so the Wicked Wahina, she kind of looked over and was like, oh, you know, they only have two items. They look like they're in a rush. Uh, why don't you let them cut us? And so they only had two items. So the people behind us, I'm guessing, didn't really trip. But if they did, I mean, what you going to do? Anyway. Um, so, you know, kind of waved them over like, hey, looks like you guys are in a rush. And this was all the Wicked Wahina's uh, idea. So it's not like I was... Oh, yeah, hey, you know, it was her idea. I mean, good thing, because um, basically they came, uh, they were on their way to like the 50th anniversary or whatever, and he ordered Mexican food or whatever, but the caterers or whatever didn't bring enough tortillas. So they were at the grocery store making a last minute run for this party that they were attending or throwing or hosting or whatever, and had like two giant sized things of tortillas. And so, we, um, you know, the wife waved them over. So yeah, it looks like you guys are in a rush. Um, you know, you guys got two items. Let's, you know, kind of get in. You know, they were so grateful. Um, and then me and the wife, we started talking about like these Reese's peanut butter cups. And apparently the couple had heard us and they were so thankful. Um, they actually told the cashier, ring them up for some peanut butter cups and then give it to us as a thank you um, for that, you know, that random act of kindness, if you want to say. So that was, you know, like instant karma, instant good karma. You know, we weren't expecting it or anything like that. And we didn't do it with the expectation of getting something back from them. But it happened. And it was just like, you know, hey, you know, they kind of walked away. Nonchalant, have a good day. And next thing you know, the cashier is giving us, you know, peanut butter cups. And we're like, what the heck? And so apparently they purchased them and, you know, gave it to us. And so that was a really good gesture. Um, but again, this week, try to make somebody smile. You know, if it's a wave, a high, or, you know, a smile back, you're walking down the street, you know, we need more of that. We need more of that. And basically, good people, um, you know, and, 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 and I truly believe everybody has some good in them, regardless. Um, so when I say good people, I don't mean to you know, alienate a certain group of people or whatever, but I believe everybody has some good into them, but it usually takes a good gesture from someone else to bring that goodness out of them because a lot of people are guarded nowadays. So anyway, the challenge of the week is going to be do something to make somebody smile. And if you do, go ahead and leave a comment down and what did you do and or what did somebody do for you that kind of made you smile or kind of made your week a little bit better. So we're going to go further into that next week, or I'll make sure I touch up on it to see if what you guys did. And um, yeah, that's basically all I got for this week. Um, I think the video is a little shorter than I thought, and it might have went longer than I thought. Who knows? Um, again, the PC is still down, so you know we'll see how the editing goes on this one. Um, questions, comments, emotional outbursts. You know, you guys want to see suggestions for different content, maybe my viewpoints on different things. Um, you know, leave content or leave questions and stuff like that down below. Um, yeah, and that's all I got for this week. Thank you for tuning in. Any questions, comments, emotional outbursts, as I've just said, so I sound like a broken record, uh, leave a thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up, that like button. Uh, leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Make it a great week, guys. Hope you guys had a good last week to make this week, uh, uh, make this week good. And we'll see you in the next video. All right. Peace.